What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So today we are going to be discussing another weapon of the Halloween series armory. So this one is actually a brand new legendary skin, which is called the Holger Jacked Lantern. So as you guys know, I have been reviewing uh, the Halloween series armory one by one. Uh, of course, uh, I should let you guys know right now, I'm not going to be reviewing the Core Jester since I have already previously reviewed it when it was first released back or well, way back when like about three four years ago so this time around we're just going to be talking about the ones that i did not get and of course since this is a brand new legendary skin that has never been in this game prior to this season it is fitting to discuss it and also just the fact that i haven't really seen a lot of people give this skin some love and i said this previously a few times in the last video with the squash demon that was really the only weapon that they were focusing on, but when it came to the Holger, I felt like no one really actually cared. And I do understand the Holger is not really the one that's, you know, most looked at. I know a lot of people, when people think of the Holger skins, they usually think of the Mythic and never really the Risen Deep or any of the legendary skins. And that's kind of like the unfortunate truth sometimes with weapons that already have Mythic skins. All the other legendary skins that get released after the Mythic are usually overlooked. That's the unfortunate truth, but anyways, let's actually discuss the Holger Jacked Lantern. So, of course, like I said, this is part of the Halloween series armory. Uh, if you guys did collect this, good on you. But luckily for me, I didn't have to spend too much money on this entire draw. If anything, like I said, it is extremely generous for some reason. I've been hearing a lot of, I guess, tweets and reports that uh, people have been getting legendary skins w b before they even finish the milestone. Some happen to get the AK-47 pretty early on, or some people also seem to get the Maddox pretty early. But for me, the Holger was the one that I got within the first 10 pulls of the final milestone that I needed. So what can I say about the Jack Lantern? So I will say that it is a lot better when it comes to effects. Um, you can see the Jack Lantern releasing fire as well as, you know, the magazine uh, being, you know, lit up. And I can do it kind of like the design a little bit more on this one compared to the Risen Deep. And that's mainly because, again, it's much more flashy, you know, like there's a lot more decorations going on. It's not just a, a blue coral type of skin, you know, it, it feels a lot more creative. You can see the flames, like I said, you could also see those little embers that are just kind of like popping around the barrel of the gun. And yeah, it just looks nice overall. And when it comes to the death effect, um, there is a slight criticism as good as it looks. I kind of wish that, you know, depending on what direction you're in, the death effect will always be at a fixed position, so you'll always see the front of it. But I guess that might have been a little bit too demanding with the graphics. And it's not to say that the death effect is bad at all. I mean, it's awesome, but to have it only just point at one direction and when you turn around, it kind of looks awkward. Or if you're just going around the side of it, it's just it looks very uh, two dimensional. So now, also, I do want to talk about the sound effects. So the gun sound isn't really that great. Uh, you know, the, the shooting and everything is kind of half-assed, I'll be honest. Um, it's not something crazy where you hear like a like a creepy laugh or something like that. You know, you know, maybe forced laughter levels of effects, but I mean, it's still changed nonetheless, but not the best. Um, as for the inspection, I did say this in the Maddox video. Whenever you do inspect it, it does have a unique sound with it. Instead of just hearing that normal gun sound that you make when you're inspecting the weapon, you know, that metallic type of sound, or like that that classic little gun sound, it's not there. This one actually has its own uh, special, you know, sound effect. Of course, nothing actually new comes out of this effect. I mean, there's no different effects when you're actually, um, you know, inspecting it. It's still the same as any regular weapon inspect. Um, of course, it's not mythic level or legacy level, so yeah, like you can't really expect much. So now that we talked about the majority of the effects for this gun, I do have to say that I do have one major criticism with it, and I and I know I haven't really talked about it yet, but it's actually the iron sight that I do have to criticize with this weapon. So, as you guys know, the Holger with across its legendary skins and the mythic skin they all seem to have the same type of iron sight. You know, usually with a lot of different legendaries, if you go to the AK, if you go to, you know, the 117, or just any other gun that has multiple legendary skins, they all have their own different types of iron sights. But I feel like with the Hoger specifically, even if you're using the Mythic, the Risen Deep, or even this one, the iron sights are more or less identical to one another. 
Of course, that might change in the future given that COD Mobile has already made plans to upgrade some of the old Mythic skins and the Holger uh, Dark Frontier is one of those skins that might get modified at some point to have maybe a digital iron sight or something else. But yeah, all of them are basically the same. I felt like they could have been a little bit more creative. I understand you guys could argue that I'm complaining or I'm just overlooking this. And, you know, it, like the iron sight is just good enough for me to enjoy. Obviously it is. I mean, it, I'm not saying that it's bad, but I'm saying that they could just be a little bit more creative in the future because, yeah, I mean, if you're selling a different type of legendary for this and it's always going to have the same type of iron sight, then it's like, I that's then there's really no point sometimes to buy it. I know a lot of people buy legendary skins for that sole purpose, but, you know, creativity is another thing that should be a good selling point as well. But when it comes to this gun, creativity seems to be running dry in terms of iron sights. So yeah, that's my only major criticism with the Holger and just, I guess all the, you know, all the legendary slash mythic skins in general, they're just too similar. But yeah, I will say this, I won't just shit on the weapon just for the iron sights. I mean, I'm, that's not gonna be the determining factor if I ever buy another one in the future. But I will say this, all the death effects for the Holger, like, you know, when it comes to the Dark Frontier, Risen Deep, and even this one, I will admit that the, the death effects have always been good. I would say that the Holger probably has one of the more unique uh, types of death effects. I mean, you, you look at the Risen Deep, you have like that little fish tornado with this one and you have like a flaming scarecrow and with the i believe the dark frontier you have white bats black bats and just other types of you know bat uh death effects so yeah they're they're just creative all around but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like make sure to subscribe for some more combo content i thought i just ended off in a more positive note but of course the draw is out whether or not you want to pick it up that's completely up to you but given the fact that it's still Meta, as of now, even despite the stock nerf, it's still <laughs> pretty insane for an LMG. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to pick it up, totally up to you. But, yeah, anyways, have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.